Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start our Halloween videos. I am going to be Tiffany, Chucky's bride. I think this is a super fun and easy costume to do so I definitely think you guys could do it too and we're just going to hop right into it. I am starting with MAC Prep and Prime all over my eyes. I love this primer. All right then I'm going to hop into the Shade and Light palette from KVD. I don't know if you guys can actually purchase this anywhere anymore, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do white under my brow. That way there's some separation. When I do all these smoky dark eye makeup. Okay. Then I'm gonna go into one of my favorite palettes. This is from Lime Crime. This is Venus 2. Um, I'm sure I've talked about this palette a hundred times, but this, if I could pick any palette that's my most used, it's by far this, and it just calls to me every single time I use it. So we're actually gonna use this today. Gonna go in starting with my Luxie 237 blending brush. I'm gonna go into the color Mustard, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, if you guys like a really grungy look, this is it. So I'm going to start with my crease, but then I'm going to work my way up with the mustard shade. I'm going to go in with my MAC uh, 221 brush. I love this brush. We're going to go into the color called Jam. It's kind of this like hot orange Cheeto color. And we're just going to kind of melt that in with that mustard. Then I'm going to go in with another Clean Mac 221 brush. We're going to go into the color called Mud. Um, this is a very potent kind of a warm brown. We're going to start with the outer crease and kind of keep building. I do want to keep some of that orange and yellow color. So don't totally diffuse it all. Now we are going to do, this is another MAC brush, it's the 212. It's just a flat top synthetic brush. I'm going to go into the color Boots. It's kind of this black glittery shade and we are going to pack it on the lid and hope for the best with the fallout situation. And I'm just going to keep working that, starting with the darkest part right across the lash line. All right, guys, so with the magic of YouTube, my foundation and concealer are on. I went a little ham today. I wanted a more full coverage doll look, and I wanted to be a little bit lighter in tone um, as the character is a little bit lighter in tone, give that kind of gothy kind of look. Anywho, the powder foundation I am wearing is the Aqua Insurance Powder Foundation. I have the whole video about this powder foundation if you guys are curious. That's why I didn't bother to make you watch me put it on again. I do prefer that foundation with a sponge, but it gives the best coverage. Um, so that's why we're using it today. Also, too, it's my winter shade, so it makes me look a little paler, <laughs> which is what I'm after. All right. So... I'm going to go in with my black eyeliner. Today I'm just using uh, a Bare Minerals around the clock. I don't even know if they make this one anymore, but this is just what I grabbed. Okay, black liner inside of my eye. Then I'm going to go back and start with all those brushes I already used. So we're going to go back in with the yellow. Start with that. We're going to dust that under the eyes. Go in with the orange, which is jam color. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with mud, which is that dark, ruddy brown. 
and I'm taking that brush that has boot on it, not adding any additional product, um, but just wiping it under the eye. My cat, uh, my my KVD Vegan Beauty Shade and Light Highlight and Contour. I like the medium shade, um, and then I'm just gonna press it under my eyes so I don't look totally exhausted, right? And then I'm going to go into kind of hollowing out my cheek a little bit. All right, once I have my desired effect, I'm gonna go into the Lime Crime Sun Kissed Face Palette because I love this palette. I'm gonna be using the blush in here. Um, it's hot orange, and then I'm gonna go over it with this other shade. I'm sure you guys have seen me talk about this. I'm gonna use these two shades here for my blush. take that topper color just because it adds this most beautiful sheen makes it more of a peachy pink um, with more pink to it instead of orange going with my Kevin Aquan this is my uh, candlelight powder again I just kind of pop that under the eye it just gives me a little bit of oomph especially when I'm using such dark eye makeup And then I will do my highlighter, which this is my favorite highlighter of all times, the Marc Jacobs highlighter, and I believe it's called Guilty. I'm going to do that right on the tops of my cheeks because you can never not have highlighter, even if you are a dead bride murderous doll, right? <laughs> to my brow product. This is by Anastasia. And the color Granite. It's a brow mascara. This is black, of course, because that's what I like. And then we're just going to hit the brows with it just so we can look a little bit extra today. Um, moving on, we are going to take a black liner. Doesn't really matter which one. And I am going to line my lips with it and then put the lipstick on. You don't need it to be perfect, just enough to try to keep everything in there. Uh, black can be a little tricky. So I'm using the Color Pop. I believe this is the new um, Hocus Pocus collection. Let's look at the box here. The new Hocus Pocus collection, and this is Hello Boys. It's a really pretty black. All right, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna do my mascara primer. Grab a different black liner. My Kat Von D one and see if I can make a little dot. I think this is where her dot is. Not my best dot, but hey. There 
it out. I'm back. <laughs> All right, here you go, guys. This is the completed look as Tiffany Chucky's ride. Super fun, scary, and fun. Um, I will do some outside shots so you guys can see the entire look, and I hope you guys uh, tag me in your Tiffany looks too. Hey guys, so uh, that's it. You guys got to see the full costume and how I completed this look as Tiffany, Bride of Chucky. It has been so much fun doing these Halloween videos. I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching as always. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday and the description box will be my Instagram for daily posts and my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures and I'll catch you guys on the next one.